She reads books while she walks. Her long white skirt is kind of see-through, but that might just be my imagination. Her black bra straps wrap around her son's hand shoulders, peeking ever so gently out of her blue tank top, stopping just below her waistline. She's worn this outfit before, but what can she say? She likes its light. She reads books while she walks. Her ringtone came with the phone, but she never hears it anyway. She doesn't have a favorite TV show, but she has a low-key place where she always gets coffee. She doesn't call it her favorite, though. Her skirt sticks to her hips on Mondays and Wednesdays, but blows in the wind on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Her job would like to give her a promotion, but that means she have to start paying off her student loans. She reads books while she walks. She periodically misses her poli-sci class. You know, the one with the old professor who reluctantly lets her answer all the questions, but luckily the boy who sits behind her took notes. She'd date him if she didn't have a purpose in life. And if she wasn't already seeing this other guy. This other guy's not the one, and she doesn't mind that she'll never meet this other guy's mother, but she repels pity. This whole maintaining a relationship fell off her priority list a long time ago. She reads books while she walks. Because think of all the productivity that could be produced from point A to point B. Her point B lies light years away. Her point B is so bright that it still lights the long, long trip from point A. Her point B is talked about with a hint of admiration and a dose of jealousy by those who fell into their point B's. Her point is not to just be, it is to believe, it is to become, it is to bestow upon others what she's learned, her gift of wisdom, her blood rush of compassion, her vein slapping of sensibility, asking her what classes she wants to take next quarter is like asking a six-year-old boy what he wants for his birthday, asking her what she wants to do with her life is like asking Tolstoy to jot down a few words about conflict, asking her if she is free on Friday night because you'd like to get to know just a little bit more about her, is like asking NASA if there's any spare room on the space shuttle for a stargazing stowaway. She reads books while she walks, and be careful, because if you ask her out, she might just say yes. She might just talk to you for hours about the work of that one psychologist who you remember learning about but quickly forgot about after the midterm, but the way she explains how the waves in your brain respond to physical stimulation penetrates your ribcage, rips your heartstrings out of your chest, ties knots not even Boy Scouts can figure out, and lets what's left fall to the ground. Every little inch of string, every little inch of what makes the soul sing, and she says... You shouldn't have asked me out, because I don't have time for encores. She reads books while she walks because our closest star only gave her 24 hours a day. But she's never had anyone tell her that she is her own star. She makes her own orbit. She makes her own energy. She makes her own light. She reads books while she walks, but her footsteps... Write poetry.